in order to calculate the back bearing, if the bearing is less than 180 degrees, then add 180 degrees. For example, 20 degrees is less than 180 degrees. Therefore, the back bearing of 20 degrees will be 20 degrees plus 180 degrees, which is equal to 200 degrees. In order to calculate the back bearing, if the bearing is greater than 180 degrees, then subtract 180 degrees. For example, 200 degrees is greater than 180 degrees. Therefore, the back bearing of 200 degrees will be 200 degrees minus 180 degrees, which will be equal to 20 degrees. In order to calculate the true bearing or grid bearing from Stafford's Hill to Crystal Corp, draw a north-south bisector through Stafford's Hill. Join Stafford's Hill and Crystal Corp with a straight line. Measure the angle from Stafford's Hill to Crystal Corp in a clockwise direction. The true bearing from Stafford's Hill to Crystal Corp will be 36 degrees. In order to calculate the true bearing from Crystal Corp to Stafford's Hill, draw a north-south bisector through Crystal Corp. Always measure bearing in a clockwise direction. The angle from Crystal Corp to Stafford's Hill is therefore 180 degrees plus 37 degrees, which gives you a total of 217 degrees. In order to calculate the magnetic bearing from the trick beacon at A to the station at B, you must first calculate the true bearing between these two points. The true bearing from the trig beacon at A to the station at B is therefore 64 degrees. <coughs> In order to calculate the magnetic bearing, you must know what the present magnetic declination is. Take the present magnetic declination as being equal to 23 degrees. The magnetic bearing will therefore be the present magnetic declination, which is 23 degrees, plus the true bearing, which is 64 degrees, which will be equal to 87 degrees. <coughs> 